Sir Ron, an electric dirt bike manufacturer known for selling good value for money products, is bringing a brand new offering for the 2023 model year. The upcoming Sir Ron Ultra B utilizes the brand's previous engineering achievements and introduces a variety of new and improved components. This middleweight off-road model received a revamped electric powertrain that consists of a permanent magnet synchronous motor and a 74-volt, 55-amp-hour lithium-ion battery pack. The powertrain generates 12.5 kilowatts of peak output and 325 pound-feet of peak torque. It also has four standard power modes, Sport, Daily, Eco, Reverse, and offers the top speed of 56 miles per hour. This model will also be using an improved battery pack structure with better discharge capabilities. It could cover the range of 85 miles at the continuous speed of 25 miles per hour. Once depleted, the battery could be recharged in four hours with a proprietary charger that is hidden underneath the bike seat. Thanks to the reworked forged aluminum chassis, this model boasts the curb weight of 187 pounds, while the overall carrying capacity is estimated at 220 pounds. The list of other improvements and innovations that this model can boast includes a refined off-road traction control and energy regeneration systems, fully adjustable front and rear suspension with 9.4 inches of travel, 19-inch wire-spoked wheels, 240mm hydraulic disc brakes, and an LCD digital control dashboard. Soron Ultra B will start sales in the first quarter of 2023 in Europe and Canada, while the availability on the U.S. market is yet to be announced. RFN Ares Rally Pro is an upcoming electric dirt bike that features an innovative convertible system. This system enables you to switch between two seat units, thus making the two-wheeler suitable for either off-road riding down the dirt trails or competing in motorcycle trials. Considering the dual-purpose nature of this model, the manufacturer developed a powertrain with four levels of performance, suitable for certain types of environments and riding conditions. The aforementioned powertrain consists of a 5-kilowatt brushless motor and a removable 74-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack. The pack consists of LG 21700 cells and could be recharged in three hours with the quick charge feature. In the highest power mode, the motor could generate 12.5 kilowatts and push this 150-pound bike to the top speed of 45 miles per hour, while the initial acceleration from 0 to 30 miles per hour takes just 3.2 seconds. The braking power comes courtesy of four piston hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. In terms of front suspension, Ares Rally Pro features an upside-down, fully adjustable fork with 200 mm of travel. The duties of the rear suspension are carried out by an adjustable monoshock with 74 mm of travel. Mantis is a 150-pound electric dirt bike that was built to provide motocross-like performance and riding agility of a mountain bike. With a 7.5-kilowatt electric motor on board, this two-wheeler can generate 33 pound-feet of torque and sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. Moreover, the zippy acceleration will only stop once the limited speed of 52 miles per hour is reached. The power to the motor comes courtesy of a 60-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack that is also swappable for your charging convenience. With this capacity, the motor could last for up to 81 miles of riding in the lowest power setting. Speaking of power settings, the powertrain has a tuned-down eco mode, a turbo mode for maximum performance, and a reverse mode in case you need to back out of a challenging trail situation. The standard equipment of the Mantis dirt bike also includes hydraulic disc brakes, an energy recovery system, a large LED control display, an adjustable suspension, and a maximum load capacity of 265 pounds. Arctic Leopard is an upcoming electric dirt bike that was developed for the Asian market but may be brought to Europe and North America in the near future. The model is offered in a variety of performance modifications. 
The base EXT560 off-road bike is equipped with an electric motor with 10 kilowatts of peak output and 413 pound-feet torque indicator at the wheel. The motor could be paired with a 25 amp hour or this battery could give you 50 miles of riding at speeds up to 60 miles per hour. The brand's range-topping EXT800 off-road bike utilizes a 25 kilowatt electric motor and a 72 volt 60 amp hour battery pack, which could reportedly last for up to 125 miles. With this motor, you can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, while the top speed is 71 miles per hour. Arctic Leopard bikes are sold with two frame types, steel or titanium alloy. Depending on the chosen type, the bike's weight would be either 177 or 172 pounds. The bike suspension is represented by a 40 mm fork with a 200 mm stroke in the front and a rear shock with 230 mm of stroke. GoWow is an uprising electric dirt bike manufacturer from Asia that is set to compete with such market leaders as Cake Motorcycles, Soaran, and Zero Motorcycles. Their first model, GoWow Ori, is characterized by a minimalist design approach and lightweight construction. The two-wheeler is based on a twin-spar composite frame and tips the scales at 160 pounds, including the battery. The bike's 73.8-volt, 38.4-amp-hour battery module comprises 21 700-type cells and can provide up to 60 miles of riding range. The battery supports fast charging and needs 3.5 hours to restore 100% of its charge from a 220-volt power outlet. The power from the battery is consumed by a 9-kilowatt PMSM motor, letting you travel at speeds up to 60 miles per hour and put to use the immense torque output of 309 pound-feet. Considering the off-road nature of this model, the manufacturer equipped GoWow Ori with a 780mm wide handlebar, powerful brakes with four-piston calipers, a four-link rear suspension system, and a mobile app that could be used to adjust motor output according to your riding needs. North Carolina-based Huck Cycles that are known for their lightweight retro bikes have recently announced a new model, Huck Cycles Overland S. As its name suggests, it's an off-road oriented bike that is legally classified as a moped. The two-wheeler is based on an aluminum frame where all constituent parts are bolted together. Since there are no welds, in case of damage, you'd be able to replace certain frame segments with relative ease. The driving force is supplied to the Overland bike by means of a rear hub motor with 3 kilowatts of nominal and 6 kilowatts of peak output. The motor works in one of three available power modes. Mode 1 lets you reach speeds up to 20 miles per hour. Mode 2 is good for reaching 30 miles per hour, while Mode 3 unlocks the speeds up to 45 miles per hour. The 60 volt 50 amp hour batteries are hidden inside a special compartment behind a metal plate that houses two charging outlets and two USB ports, if any of your devices need to be charged. The metal plate can be removed, thus giving you access to a pair of removable lithium-ion batteries with 3 kilowatt hours of capacity each. When fully charged, these batteries could let you travel for up to 90 miles while carrying up to 200 pounds. The base Overland model is supplied with a vintage motorcycle-style headlight with high and low beams, 17-inch off-road or street tires, a tunable full suspension system, a cafe racer-style seat with room for two people, turn signals, dual-piston hydraulic disc brakes, cargo and pannier racks, a bright waterproof screen for displaying your riding speed, estimated range, and available battery charge. Graft is a Taiwan-based EV startup that is developing a whole family of electric power sport vehicles an ATV, a side-by-side, -side, and a dirt bike. The brand's dirt bike, called Graft E0.12, is the first to hit production. All vehicles are to use standardized battery packs that could be easily swapped and reused in different vehicles when needed. At the moment, the company developed two types of battery units, 1.1E Endurance and 1.1R Race. The Endurance pack weighs 42 pounds, has 2.7 kilowatt hours of capacity, and offers between two and three hours of riding. The race pack is designed to lower the overall weight of the bike and give you a competitive advantage. 
It weighs just 28 pounds, has 1.3 kilowatt hours of capacity, and about an hour of riding time. Thanks to the available lightweight battery pack and carbon fiber wheels, the Graf dirt bike offers some of the best power to weight ratios in this class. This bike can produce 20 kilowatts of peak output while tipping the scales at just 110 pounds. In order to cut the weight as well as improve the bike's reliability, Graft engineers used a single-stage reduction on the drivetrain. The bike is also based on a no-weld chassis with CNC machined components. As a result, you can easily upgrade or replace such parts as handlebars, brakes, foot pegs, and seats. The standard bike modification comes with a 42mm fork with 48mm stanchions, but if needed, it can also be swapped for an aftermarket fork. Last year, Soron tried to step up their game and entered the full-size motocross bike segment with the Storm B model. The model had its debut on the Asian and European markets last year. However, in 2023, this two-wheeler will find its representation on the North American bike market through a distributor. Just to recap, this electric motorbike is built on a high-strength forged aluminum frame. It has a 56.3-inch wheelbase and comes equipped with a 21-inch wire-spoked rim in the front and an 18-inch rim in the back. The minimum ground clearance is said to be at 12.2 inches. The forward motion comes courtesy of a liquid-cooled brushless electric motor unit capable of putting out 22.5 kilowatts at its peak. At the same time, the peak torque at the wheel reaches 383 pound-feet. This is enough to perform the 0 to 50 mile per hour sprint in just 3.6 seconds. The top speed limiter will not stop you until the 68 mile per hour mark is reached. The bike's adjustable suspension system is represented by a 47mm inverted front fork with 11.4 inches of travel and a rear shock absorber with 290mm of travel. The longevity of any dirt bike's performance comes down to the battery type and its capacity. In the case of Storm B, it's a 104 volt 55 amp hour battery unit with lithium ion cells and an in-house developed battery management system. The battery pack weighs about 66 pounds and brings the overall curb weight to 280 pounds. The bike's frame was designed to let you remove the battery pack for the ease of charging. The complete recharge is said to last for up to 4 hours. Every charge will let you travel up to 70 miles if your average speed is 30 miles per hour. Armstrong Electric Vehicles is a promising EV startup from Canada that is planning to become the country's first electric dirt bike manufacturer. Their two-wheeler is based on a handcrafted steel frame with aluminum swing arm and guards. The power to the bike's wheels is supplied by an air-cooled brushless motor that uses an ASI controller. It helps to push out 15 kilowatts of peak output and 73 pound-feet of rear wheel torque. This motor unit is capable of propelling you to the top speed of 68 miles per hour, while the initial sprint from 0 to 37 miles per hour takes just 3.5 seconds. Moreover, there are three ride modes, mud, normal, and race, that could help you deal better with various riding conditions. The bike's overall weight is said to be about 150 pounds. This weight indication includes the 2.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that will grant you the riding autonomy of about 55 miles between charges. The battery is swappable and is compatible with the Soron style or other aftermarket batteries. XRE was designed to support a variety of customizations and options that could be ordered directly from the manufacturer, including different seat and frame colors, two options for front and rear chain sprockets, various body panels, different rear suspension components, as well as wheel and tire packages. Cake Motorcycles, a Swedish e-motorcycle manufacturer, couldn't let this year's EICMA motorcycling exhibition happen without showing its brand new offering. The company used years of its engineering experience and development of race and off-road motorcycles to create their most advanced trail-ready machine. It received the Buck name, which is reportedly translated as a thundercloud. The two-wheeler is offered in a race yellow color scheme 
specially developed for this limited edition 50-unit production run. Besides a unique look, the bike has undergone an extreme weight reduction procedure that resulted in the best power-to-weight ratio in this motorcycling class. While tipping the scales at just 187 pounds, this dirt bike can produce 16 kilowatts of power output, 310 pound-feet of torque, and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. Due to the lightweight nature of this build, the company resorted to the use of a compact battery pack with 2.9 kilowatt hours of capacity. Buck's limited riding autonomy issue is partially resolved with a unique frame design that allows hot battery swapping. If you have access to an additional battery pack, you could go back to riding in a matter of minutes. If you decide to use a regular charging option, a 0 to 100% charging session would take 2.5 hours. Canada's Daymac has recently announced an electric dirt bike that could be taken on off-road adventures all year long. The all-season capabilities of this model come courtesy of one interesting engineering solution, a conversion kit that consists of a front ski and a rear track intended to turn your motorcycle into a snowmobile. In terms of specifications, you get a bike with a 7.2 kilowatt motor with 14 kilowatt peak output capabilities and a 4.8 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack. With such powertrain, you'd be able to cover distances up to 50 miles while cruising at speeds up to 44 miles per hour. It can also climb hills with up to 35 degrees of incline and carry the payload of 300 pounds. The list of standard components includes a heavy-duty fork and shocks, disc brakes, bright LED headlights, and IP67 waterproof rating. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.